Hi, it's been a long time. Uh, so we will be solving gravitational fields question, questions that are part of A2 level physics. So let's look at this question. Uh, it is from May, June 17, paper 4-1, and it is the question number one. So explain how a satellite may be in a circular orbit around a planet. So in order for a satellite to be in a circular orbit around the planet, there needs to be a gravitational force of attraction between the satellite and the planet. So the first point would be that there gravitational force of attraction of attraction between uh, the satellite and the planet. So satellite, just a second. And the planet Right now, since this question is of two marks, so you need to give two pointers. And the second pointer would be that this gravitational force provides a centripetal force on the satellite about the planet, about the planet. So provides centripetal force. on the satellite by a planet. Since they're asking how a satellite may be in a circular orbit around a planet, they are saying that in the question. So it means that there is a centripetal force on the satellite by the planet. Because satellite is the one that is orbiting the planet. Right, so you need to take care of the words, you, how the words you're using in your answer. Right, part B. The Earth and the Moon may be considered to be uniform spheres that are isolated in space. The Earth has radius r and mean density this rho. The Moon mass m is in circular orbit ab about the Earth with radius n r. So this is the radius, um, as illustrated in Figure 1.1. Right. Mass of moon is m, and the Earth's radius is given. Okay, let's look at the question. The moon makes one complete orbit of the Earth in time t. Right. Show that the mean density rho of the Earth is given by the equation. Okay. So firstly, you need to establish a fact that gravitational force is equal to the centripetal force. It is the gravitational force that is providing the centripetal force. Right. Now we so now that we have established this sort of an equation, we can simply use each of their formulas and equate them. Right. So the formula for force is G M M over r square and for centripetal force it will be we there are actually two formulas for centripetal force but here firstly is mv square over r and the second formula is m r omega square where omega is angular velocity now which formula are we going to use here so it should be this one why? Because this time period is given to us. And you know that omega is equal to 2 pi over time period. Right? Now, we are going to use this formula, m r omega square. And now, 
there is no sign of density here. So let's write down at the side what density actually is. Density is mass over volume. Since they're asking the density of Earth, we are going to consider uh, the volume of Earth, as in the a volume, volume of a sphere, right? So what it is going to be, volume is what? 4 over 3 pi r cube, right? Since the radius is given as a capital R, so instead of using a conventional small r, we're going to use the capital R here, right? So the mass of Earth, that is the capital M, which is in this formula, becomes d 4 over 3d. Let me write that again. 4 over 3d. Instead of d, let's write rho. Rho pi r q. So we have found out the mass of Earth. Now we are going to substitute this mass into the equation. So, okay, so first of all, it is going to be g into 4 over 3 rho pi r cube and we're going to cancel these small m's which are the masses of moon mass of moon actually and we're going to transfer this r square to this r and make it on r cube so it would become capital r cube because since it is this one and omega we are going to convert because you see this there is no omega here. So you need to get rid of everything that is not present here. Oh, actually, I did. So you can transfer this R over here and make it an R cube. Uh, so it would become R cube. And omega, as we saw here, is 2 pi over t. Now, one more thing. This R is actually this right the distance between the centers of earth and the moon right so we can substitute again um g remember that we have to make rho the subject of the formula so let's just do that we will keep rho here and transfer everything onto the right hand side then that would be just write down everything let's write first of all three and then r cube was n r cube into four pi square over g four into g into i into r let's just write why am i doing this four G pi r cube, right? Now you just have to cancel stuff out and then you're going to get your final answer. So 4, 4 gets cancelled out. This r cube, r cube, and then 1 pi. Okay. Now let's write the final answer. That is rho 3 into, sorry, 3 n cube pi over g oh we forgot this t this t right here okay let's write that down i guess the t was also here t and a square don't forget to write stuff and g t square are the only things left in the denominator so this is our final answer, and it is correct. Let's move on to part C of this question. The radius r of the Earth is given, 
and the distance between the center of the earth and the center of the moon is also given so this would be our n r the period t of the orbit of the moon about the earth is 27.3 days that that would be our time period use the expression in b to calculate rho this part is easy so in order to calculate rho what stuff do you need let's write the formula first rho is equal to 3 pi n cube over g t square let's first take the things that we already have we do not have n and these are g is a constant time period is also given so we need to find out n now how can we find out n so we are seeing that we have the radius of the earth and n is being multiplied to r and we also have the distance this distance from the center of the earth to the center of the moon we have the distance and that is equals to equals to n into r distance between the center of the earth and center of the moon that is going to be 3.84 into 10 to the power 5 you do not need to convert uh since this is in kilometers you do not need to convert it in meters for now because the units are going to be cancelled out so this is the distance between the centers of the earth and the moon and this is equals to n r r is given to us as 3.84 into 10 to the power 5 over r is 6.38 6.38 to 10 to the power 3 calculating this you will get 60.2 as the value of n right since n it doesn't have any units you do not need to convert uh, these distances into meters now for this formula of rho we need to put in the values and find out its rho's value right so Rho would be 3 pi into 60.2 to the power 3 over g, which is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11. g is a constant. And then t, remember you need to convert time period in seconds always. So 27.3. into uh there are 24 hours in a single day so multiply by 24 there are 60 minutes in a in an hour so multiply by 60 and there are 60 seconds in a minute so again into 60 and this would give you an answer of 5.54 into 10 to the power 3 units are already given and this is the final answer you can make sure to write it in the given space so this question is done